Happy Thursday, everybody. Sean coming at you from high level. So a couple of quick updates, but really awesome updates. So on the Workflow Builder, if you were watching my video from a couple days ago, please go back and look at it. I gave you a sneak peek of the set event start date and time. So that is now live. Check it out in all of its glory. Um, and so again, this is the ability to set the event start date and time as I come into the workflow and have everything in the workflow be relative to the uh, to that date and time. And so that's things like, and then with the go-to, this allows us to do stuff like uh, repeating webinars, repeating events, that kind of stuff. I went into really good detail on that uh, uh, back a couple days ago, so check the YouTube channel, all that good stuff. But anyways, it is now live, so awesome. Great job, team. Um, that's amazing. So that's one thing. Two, um, I totally forgot about this. So for those of you who already knew it was here, um, this is amazing. So did you know that workflows have version history? Yes, that's right. <clears throat> Pretty cool. But um, not only do workflows have version history, so like you check this out, you can like actually go back and see like where did this all begin and who built it and how did it, how did it go and all that, which is really cool. But now they also have added settings version history. So you can actually go into the settings and see, hey, did somebody change the settings? And if they did, what did they change them to? And you know, what, what, what's going on? So anyways, really cool addition to the version history. Um, just wanted to highlight, A, we have version history on workflows, which is phenomenal. Um, and then two, um, also have the ability now to look at any of the settings changes over time as well to see what might have been changed or not. Um, and so that's really cool. I might have one other update, be right back. Okay, actually what I meant was several other updates. So um, on the version history coming up soon will be trigger. So the triggers, so hold on real quick just to orient us this up here, this trigger. <clears throat> we'll have version history on the triggers as well, which is amazing. Um, the other thing is there were some missing fields, whoa, some missing fields on the uh, state and postal code that were as part of the update contact field action. So those have been added as well. Um, and then of course the ability to uh, disable local editing for read only users. So anyhow, really awesome updates to the workflow builder. Great job to the team. And I hope all of you are having an awesome Thursday. Thanks.